Alright, how's it going guys and welcome back to more WWE 2K22 My Rise and yeah guys, in the last video we beat Finn Balor to become the NXT Champion so we now hold the NXT North American Championship and the NXT Championship so the only two belts I could win in NXT, I hold them both I think that's pretty cool and yeah guys, I got help for some more Joe and in process I turned heel I am now a bad guy, and I attacked Hulk Hogan, and I wrestled Hulk Hogan in Japan. That last video was amazing, it was in the description, down below if you want to check that out guys. But I don't know where I'm going to go for here, still champion, I'm a new bad guy. Let's do it. Oh, I've got upgrade points. Let's see if I can upgrade. There you go, striking definitely. I've already maxed out aerial running, because I've probably used that the most submission. Defense. Oh wait, no. Say submission, which is go resilience, that seems a bit more important. I'm not really a submission guy, I'm a high flyer. Not really down on the ground. Right, I like that. Don't really last long, did they know? But I'm currently 92 now, so that's a plus. I'm going up, but for fuck's sake, they don't last long. Nearly actually maxed them out. Right, let's see. Mark Thompson. Oh, Dakota Kai. Oh, I'm going to go to Dakota Kai, see what she's up to. I need to ask you about all the rumors going around. Okay. <laughs> what rumors? You know, the ones saying you dated Candice LeRae before she married Johnny Gargano. Are they true? No, I didn't have. <laughs> there might be some truth to it all. Ooh, maybe. Well, whether it's true or not, Johnny Gargano is coming after your NXT championship. And leaning into the rumors might be a good way to play some mind games with him. Just a suggestion. That is the dumbest way for somebody to come after a belt. Actually, never mind. I remember Bo Booker T started a feud in a shampoo commercial. So yeah, doubt that we've done way dumber stuff than that. This kind of reminds me of the feud with Macho Man Randy Savage and Ric Flair. When Ric Flair used to make like, funny Savage like, Miss Elizabeth was mine before she was yours and Mr. Perfect. He's called. That was a great feud. Looking back on that, I wasn't the born name, but I've seen videos of it. It was an awesome feud. But as I'm a heel, I think that would be a good way to get under his skin. Even though I have no idea if it's true, probably no. I think you're onto something here. Want to help me out with all this? I'd love to. But if I'm going to do this, I need you to use your pull and get me a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. Oh, no problem. Let's do it. This is going to be so much fun. Rumour and innuendo. Okay, let's do this. I can't actually wait for this one. I was waiting for Mel. I have a major announcement to make this week. WWE Jordan Gargano and Kelly should pay very close attention. The rumours are true. Oh, God. We've been waiting all week to hear this major announcement from the NXT champion, so let's find out what he has to say. There's been a lot of rumors and innuendo going around social media the past few weeks. So I'm here tonight to set the record straight. My big announcement is that everything you read is true. I was, in fact, romantically involved with Candice LeRae before she married Johnny Gargano. That's right. She was mine before she was his. Even you strict for his life. Twenty fifteen, when Johnny Gargano had just signed with NXT, he put every ounce of his time and energy into making it here and becoming the Johnny Wrestling that you know today. All but of this to achieve all that, he ended up spending more time with his tag partner Tommaso Ciampa than his romantic partner Candice LeRae. Candice was lonely, <laughs> and things got worse when her boyfriend didn't have the guts to ask NXT management to consider signing her too. She started to think that maybe he was intentionally holding her back, scared that if she got a chance in NXT, she would outshine him. Nonetheless, she needed a shoulder to cry on. And that shoulder <laughs> was mine. Oh, that's brilliant. We dated for a bit and it was okay. But then I got bored and broke things off. And that's when she went crawling back to John. They ended up getting engaged, and <laughs> the rest is history. So that's right, Johnny. Everything you've seen and heard is true. Your wife is a fake. And if you or anyone else doesn't believe any of this, 
That's okay, because I have proof of every conversation, every late night text, every DM. It's every Johnny Gargano. He heard enough. And Gargano's taking it to the NXT champion. Can you blame him after everything that the champion said? Well, we don't know what's true or not, but one thing's apparent. Johnny Gargano is extremely upset. We know these are lies, and so does Gargano. That's why he's so angry. The NXT champion clearly wants no part of this. Happy to stir the pot and then run away. He's not running away. He was attacked. You expect him to stand there and take that? I don't know what to expect, but hopefully we get to the bottom of all this sooner rather than later. I'm just waiting for a while so I can read it. Oh, I need to go. Okay, he's just in the back of this. Before Johnny Gargano attacked me, I was about to say I had proof that everything I said is true. We'll reveal it soon. Johnny Gargano, there is no proof. Shut your mouth and stop spreading lies about my wife. If you don't, I will hunt you down and it will be the worst than your first encounter. Candice Ray tweeted, Met Mr. Scott Simmons at uh, uh, an indie show once before he said with WWE. That's it. He's making up lies to try and get some kind of edge against my husband. Not going to work. Come on, Candice Ray, don't pretend those... Like those two months where the best two months in your life. Now this is all soap opera creep no shit. But see, because it's my character, I actually like this. I warned you to stop and you didn't. Whatever happens now is on you. If it was all made up, then why would you be getting so upset? Interesting. I'm loving it, guys. And here we go. Why am I coming full stoop? I'm the champion, man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 228 pounds. The NXT Champion, Mr. Scott. This former indie star learned the hard way that success in the ring yesterday doesn't guarantee glory the next. Respect must be earned. And he got a PhD in respect thanks to training with Booker T. If you test the two-time WWE hump... I don't know how long I've got NXT left before I decide to move on. I'll try and finish it. Why am I fighting Kushida? I've fought this guy the so many times. Has I love the Bats of Future, I tell you about his brilliant. Man I actually don't think he's really tough in real life anyway. And time itself! And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 192 pounds, Kushi. And here we have I'm a superstar attack, with yeah. a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly damage, overlooked damage with attacks. Well, yeah, shit. So, something's going against him. In this matchup, also in the ring is Kushida. A man whose innovative offense truly makes him ahead of his time. Kushida is constantly inventing new attacks and looking for new ways to tie his opponents up in knots. Yeah, a real genius for wrestling. It's only a matter of time before you see the latest and greatest from Kushida. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Oh, continue. Well, guys, it's been, a, it's been a couple oh, no, weeks since the last video. How do you get out of this? Oh, look at that. What a great counter. So maybe a bit rusty. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Just no soul oh, that can't get each other. Oh, costly error there. Oh, that forearm didn't he work. Putting the shoulder in jeopardy there. What's Kushida thinking here? That's insane! Diving corkscrew moonsault. Now cover, cover. We'll give him a chance to kill him. And he powers out. Closer really than it should have been. It. Oh my god. And Tagiri finds his Big kick needed that. Woo! 
with a back elbow. Tossed into the corner. Oh, back elbow. Oh, leg drop across the back of the neck. Ridiculous standing shooting star. I love that standing shooting star. Kushida keeps him at bay. It's got to be agonizing for the arm. Oh, oh good night. Sorry. One step ahead of Kushida there. Uh oh. What a hurt, Karana. And now the NXT champion looks to be in complete control of this match. Despite all the outside noise, he's locked in tonight. It's Johnny Gargano, and he's all over the champion. Gargano's lost it. Wouldn't you after everything the champion has said about Candice LeRae? Speaking of Candice, it looks like she's here too. And she didn't come empty-handed. Candice LeRae is going to get some revenge on the champion for all the lies and disparaging remarks. How do you know they're lies? Wait, what is Dakota Kai doing here? Well, apparently she sided with the champion in all this. Dakota nails Candice with a chair. Boom! Dakota Gargano! I can't believe these two are working together. DDT under the chair! We've seen Dakota Kai chime in on the champion's claims on social media, but now she just took her support to a whole new level. I don't know about anyone else, but I'd really like some answers right now. Whether there's any truth to all this or it's simply just mind games for the champion, it's certainly taking a toll on NXT's first couple. Wait, you may be wondering why Dakota Kai got involved on my behalf. I'll let her explain. But she is the proof. <laughs> I love this. That's right, sick of being quiet to protect a friend who hasn't been there for me in years. Everything Scott said is true. I know because Kennedy confided in me as it happened. <laughs> this, is, this, uh, this is actually a really well told story. The worst part is after Scott broke up with Candice, she told me the only reason she was getting back to Johnny was to get a job in NXT. Terrible. A marriage built in lies. <laughs> okay, Dakota Kai, nice proof. Don't know why you're doing this. Money, jealousy, I stopped talking to you because I can't trust you. Clearly shut your mouth. Stop this, Mr. Scott Simmer. It's going to get bad. For who? You, your wife, both of you. And while your ego just gets in there, this has gotten out of hand. There will be no more attacks. You will settle this match in ring. There's no DQ for the NXT champion. But first, the four of you will face off in a mixed tag match. Can't wait to see you again, Candice. Oh, <laughs> this is brilliant. Let's do it. Pretty good. You're good at this. The thing is made up about her getting back to Johnny. The job next to use nice touch. Thanks. I really think we've gotten him completely off his game. I agree. So that's women's championship match. Looking for me. That was our deal. Remember, nothing official yet. But don't worry, it will happen. Let's focus on the next time and defending the title for now. Okay. Oh, oh. I hope I keep my words for her. She gets a title match. My two favorites are together. The following contest is scheduled for one fall I got on the way the to the ring. Mr. Scott and Dakota Khan. Oh boy, I thought these two were already insufferable. Now we got to see them together on my screen. Prepare to see a lot more of them, Saxton, because these two are the future of mixed tag wrestling. Yeah, you're in shop, buddy. It'd be funny if we did the Hardy entrance, <laughs> the Hardy voice. I don't know which of these two I can't stand less. So sad, can you hear the music here for a second? And their opponents, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae. 
I am so excited to see these two work together. Two of my absolute favorites are teaming up. Yeah, they Boo! Nobody wants to see them. The time for talk is over as the NXT champion teams up with Dakota Kai to take on the first couple of NXT to settle an issue that stuttered over allegations that have rocked the locker room. It's rocked the entire WWE Universe, Cole. It doesn't get any juicier than this, and you have to love it. Oh, grow up, Corey. Does anybody actually believe the NXT champion's lies? Here's a better question. Does it matter? The NXT champion has Gargano in the palm of his hand either way. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Sky high. Shooting star press. Oh, my God. And so moon salt. Wow. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Back DDT. DDT. He's absorbed some damage already. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up the performance down the stretch. Johnny finding an opening. He's one step ahead there. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oh, you just suddenly got a bit slower. Behind. Johnny's lacking his usual instincts here. Oh, point of the elbow finds the mark. Spin kick to the midsection. Planted face first. Typical guy hiding behind his woman. An woman? I don't really know. What, like, I've never really used the core okay. I don't know what I'll finish on as a Oh, a fucking kick, but. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. She gets the tag. That means her opponent has to leave the ring, too. Running Hurricane Rana. He's on his heels a bit now. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Am I bleeding? How the fuck am I supposed to bleed? With the counter. Ooh. Time button shit. Oh, what a counter knees! That'll buy you some valuable time. Probably shouldn't have given him that much time. Oh, down face first. He tags out, which means it's now time for the women to compete. Pump kick on target. A pump kick's such a sexy move, man. Launcher set up in the corner. Oh, that was inventive. Oh, targeting the neck. Oh, my God, a clothesline. Plenty of hits coming her way now. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Can I a question? Does the... Does the ropes just know what now? Try to put people in the corner, they just move in. each other up for a while, and now it's their chance. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around. Boom, DDT. What a he counter fucking counter counter Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. He reverses it. Boom, kick. Looking for a high-risk move. Up high. Shooting star press. It's that time. He's, he's actually sat and counted two my moves. Reverse pain for that mistake. Fuck, you know. And a kick out at only one. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. These women have been chomping at the bit, and now they're about to throw down. Oh, well, look out. High impact Ooh. missile drop kick. 
She catches Kai with a big counter. Oh, the neck breaker. And now the Step tag resets move. the action as the men get set to do battle. Try to do the move again. Johnny Gargano sweeps the leg, rolls through. Gargano escape, it's locked in. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go, no escape. This could be the end. There's no way he survives this, no way. Why is the court okay? We're coming to tell me. There's no more work here. Fuck it, look at the blood man. So much. Here and finds his way out. And Takiri finds its mark. You can't take much more of this. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Gargano needs to harness the energy from the crowd and get back on the right side. Good of the he needs to get off his back and fight. That time. A pin drop. That could ground Gargano for good. Two and a boom. Right into the quarter cage. Just close line off. Here are your winners, Mr. Scott and Dakota Khan. Now that was the best of both worlds. What a fun mixed tag match. Dominant forces within their own divisions, even more impressive together. That was a great match. I guess the truth is coming out really boring. Johnny Gargano and Candice Ray, they're clearly distracted in the next tag, especially Candice. She was staring at me the entire time. She misses you. The last conversation we had was around the time you say with NXT. She thought she could... She thought she could handle you being in the same locker room, obviously can't. Not going to respond to any more lies either from either of you. I will do anything it takes when I take your NXT championship, 100%. What's the 100% for? The number of times you hooked the fuck's sake! Oh, I caught this up. The wait is almost over, no more rumours this is happening. Mr. Scott Seven vs. Johnny Gargano, no DQ for the WWE NXT Championship at NXT TakeOver. Let's do this. Here he comes. Oh, then your house set looks great, eh? The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Introducing the champion, accompanied by Dakota Kai from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 228 pounds. He is the NXT champion Mr. Scott here we go guys the championship is on the line here in this one and I'll tell you Cole the champion has never looked more dominant than right here right now Johnny wrestling and introducing the challenger Accompanied by Candice LeRae from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. What an ovation! Johnny, do I see him? Boo, 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 boo. Do I see me? This building crackling with anticipation as the NXT title is on the line. Things oh, have really escalated this. between the NXT champion and Johnny Gargano, and it all comes to a head tonight in this no DQ championship. Fight an NXT challenge with tags. I still don't home. believe the garbage the champion's been spewing, but this is why I stay far, far away from love triangles, Michael. They're just too messy. You're in luck, Saxton, because Dakota Kai makes this a love square. Although I'm still trying to figure out what her angle is in all this. Gargano keeps him at bay. Can't quite get him there. A running Hurricane Rana. Oh, Swanton. Headed to the top now. Soaring. Shooting star press. 
Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. A relentless attack here on Johnny. Johnny's got to start reversing his fortunes. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. Uh oh. Holy moly, amazing display of athleticism. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. <laughs> that was sexy. The way he came into the ring, just to, the way he came into the ring, took it with the uh, Hurricane Runner. Big insecurity now. Much needed. Every ounce of momentum is now against him. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. I'll keep my tail, baby. And the NXT champion takes control. Irish whipping Gargano into his corner. Hold on. It looks like Dakota Kai is trying to remove the opposite turnbuckle pad. Uh, maybe she's fixing it. Luckily, the referee Sarn will put an end to this cheating immediately. Speaking of cheating, Candice LeRae now getting involved. Candice LeRae with the jawbreaker. And Gargano nails the super kick. We have a new NXT champion. Johnny Gargano has done it again. What a moment after all he's been Wait, through. What? But it didn't happen without some level of controversy. Gargano's wife, Candice LeRae, now handing him the NXT championship. And that's exactly what she did when she got involved in the match. Dakota Kai would have done the exact same thing or worse. It doesn't take anything away from Gargano's win. The former champion from behind. And Candace gets sent flying off the apron. She hit pretty hard. And suddenly for Johnny Gargano, jubilation turns to concern for his wife. We all just hope she's okay. Maybe we do, but the now former champion looks content to have gotten some form of payback on the first couple of NXT, intentional or not. I have a feeling this is far from over between these three. See this. Justice, Truth, and right over your new NXT champion. Truth, before Johnny Gargano forced his wife to attack me in the middle of the match, she was telling me how much she made a huge mistake and wanted to fix things between us and help me beat him. It's over, you can stop it now. If anyone's stupid enough to believe this crap, it's finally over. So I made up, Ray. Time to come clean, Mr. Scott. So promise me on NXT that if I helped him make up the lies to gain the edge over Gargano. He never delivered on his end, so I'm done. I know. Wow, so that's your known proof, Johnny Gargano, a known liar. Same goes for your proof, right? You're just, if she's just a liar, then why should you believe anything she said before? So now we know where the winner's purse money from. What? Did he even say that probably? So now we know where the winner's purse money from our match went. Follow, hashtag follow the money, hashtag brave. Didn't make sense, I was just trying to rush through it. Just give it up, it's pathetic. And by the way, unlike you, I don't need to make up a bunch of lies to try and hold on to my title. And I'd be happy to beat you again. Okay, let's do it. The truth is, I'm better than you. And just like I borrowed your wife, I bought, you're just borrowing my title. He had better material when I was writing it. Shut up, Dakota. Okay. One battle wasn't enough to settle the world. The rematch for the XT Championship will be a last man standing match. Oh. And guys, that match will be in the next video. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash that like button if you want to see more WW2K22 My Rise. Please don't forget to subscribe. Also, turn notifications to miss any of my videos to be bell next to my name. Do you want to know when I upload this next? Well, I see this last man standing match. Hit the bell. And yeah, guys, my Twitch and social media are all down below. Plus the previous video. It's been a few weeks since I've put this up my channel. So if you want to be a refresher, that will be down below. Please check it out, guys. Love you all. See ya. Then you win, yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own adrenaline, yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah